All right, you guys, uh, this is uh, more uh, properties on rational exponents, so let's go ahead and begin. Uh, so simplify the expression, so 7 to the 1 half times 7 to the 3 halves. Remember when it's in this form, as long as the bases are the same, those 7s, then you add those exponents, so 1 half plus 3 half is 4 halves, which is 2, so 7 squared is 49. Okay, this one here, there's, uh, these are the same bases right here, so if there's no exponent, there's a 1 right here, so when it's in this form, it's 3 to the 1 minus 1 fourth. 1 minus 1 fourth is 3 fourths, so it's 3 to the 3 fourths. Okay, here, I didn't have parentheses on that were big enough, you guys, that they were just, they were too thick when I made them big, so I had to draw them on there, so, um, okay, here, as long as these exponents are the same, you guys, if and only if these exponents are the same, I can go ahead and divide, 5 goes into uh, 24 times, so this is actually 4 to the 1 half power, and then all of that's be into that third power right there, okay, so 4 to the 1 half to the third, and 4 to the 1 half is the same as the square root of 4. Square root of 4 is 2, 2 to the third is 8. Alright, let's try this one. Okay, the cube root of 12, the cube root of uh, 18, since they're both cube roots, I'm going to go ahead and put the 12 and the 18 together. And then I'm going to break the 12 down and the 18 down. There's the 12, 2 times 2 times 3, and the 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. This cube root tells me how many on the inside brings 1 on the outside. So here's two twos, but here's a third two, so three twos on the inside brings one two out. And then three threes on the inside is going to bring one three out, so there's nothing left inside, so it's uh, two times three, or six. Okay, I know you guys are thinking this is easy, but a lot of kids get tripped up on this. Okay, here, um, they both are fourth roots, so you can go ahead and divide. 80 divided by 5 is 16, and the fourth root of 16 is just plain old 2. 2 to the fourth is 16, so the fourth root of 16 is 2. Okay, or 4 on the inside brings 1 on the outside. How's that? Okay, so 7, this is 7 when there's nothing there. It's 7 times the fifth root of 12, minus, and there's imaginary 1 times the fifth root of 12. Since these guys are the same, I can just subtract 7 minus 1. It's going to get me 6 of those fifth roots of 12. Okay, all right, so here, uh, let's go ahead and break down the 81 and the 24. 81 is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. 24 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And then 3 on the inside brings one of them on the outside. I'm left with a root 3 in both of them, so I have a like radical. 3 root 3 minus 2 root 3 is 1 root 3. We're just plain old root 3. Okay, here, going to go ahead and break down 2 times uh, 5 and 3 times 3 times 3. There's my 10 and 27. Okay, um, can't have radicals in the denominator. So uh, I'm gonna, I need four of a kind on the inside. Well, since there's three of a kind, I'm going to do uh, insert one more three. So I'm going to multiply this fraction by one, but my one is going to be the fourth root of three over the fourth root of three. Okay, so that gets me four threes in the denominator that brings one of them out. And go ahead and multiply the top. You get uh, the fourth root of 30 all over three. Don't make the common algebra 1 error where kids want to cancel this 3 into 30. You can't do that because 3 is an, an Audi and 30 is an any. They both either have to be innies or both have to be outies. Okay, you guys know what I mean, right? Okay, so here we go. The fourth root is 625. Okay, uh, 625 is 5 to the fourth, by the way. Okay, and if you can recognize, if I wrote uh, y out 12 times, how many times can I pull out four of a kind? I can pull three of them out, you guys. So... 3y is going to get me y cubed, so it's 5y cubed. I'll show you what I mean on this next one. Is it this one? Yeah, this one right here. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to spread all these out. 6 is 2 times 3. X is uh, x to the fourth is 4x's. Y to the ninth is is 9y's, and z to the 14th. There they are. Look at that baby. Isn't that a beauty? Heck yeah. All right. So this little three is like my stop sign. I need three on the inside that brings one on the outside. I don't have any threes or uh, that number or that number, but I do have three x's, I do have three y's, I have another three y's, I have another three y's, and then I can pull out a bunch of z's also, you guys, so when I do all of that, I get that good looking mess right there. Alright, so that's going to simplify to that. Alright, and then if you're in my class, uh, that would be your homework assignment. Okay, good job today.